For the next 50 hours, we're gonna see if I can survive military special ops training. And everything between point A and point B is gonna die. Oh man. 5 a.m. baby. We're setting the tone of the entire group. Not gonna lie, probably running a little bit late and I'm hoping that they don't yell at me. Let's do this. Here we go, baby. It's a good morning to be alive, baby. Let's go. Oh yeah. You know, it's funny. They said this morning's an optional workout. You know what that means? Not optional. Two, three, two, two one, two, three, three. This is so much harder than you think. If anyone's hands are cold, I have a thing over here you can use. That has a lotion you can put on it, it'll help warm up. If anyone wants some. Anyone need some traction? Is it a trick question? Huh? Is it a trick you question? Need some? You want some? No, I, I say. It, Traffic like a f***ing man and just suck the crap. It's a joke. So yes, I flew across the country to get tortured for two days. But why? Well, before my girlfriend, let me explain. Since the beginning of our love story, I have been in a constant uphill battle of proving myself as a man to her family. I'm hoping that this trip will make me the toughest man alive. Ready! Ready! Exercise! Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Let's go! Almost there! Come on! No breakfast yet? I feel fing good. This is fun. Like, am I psycho for having fun? Chop your hands with fast feet! You're probably wondering who these scary military men are. Ray Cash Care, former Navy SEAL, 50 years old, and here I am, a firearms instructor at Operation Black Site with the great and powerful Tim Kennedy. My name is Tim Kennedy. I am a special forces guy, so a Green Beret, special forces sniper, all the dumb things that go with that. Here I'm the firearms instructor for Operation Black Site. So my initial impression of Jesse was I saw a younger version of me. The kid's in shape, he's got the looks, he's cocky, um, but it's okay to be fucking cocky if you can, you know, show up and put out. And I like that about him. I got 50 hours to prove myself. I think it's gonna be absolutely easy. So for the next 50 hours, we are going to see what Jesse's got. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to Black Sight Ranch. Let the games begin. They already begun. And now they're gonna begin again. They're gonna begin again. Let's go. After a quick briefing, we are on our way to the shooting range. And I was a little nervous because I know nothing about shooting guns. Um, we're gonna treat these weapons as if they're real weapons and they will absolutely hurt us if we don't treat them like real weapons. And a quick disclaimer, these are airsoft markers and not real firearms. We are under medical supervision in a professional setting. <laughs> Yo, y'all better watch out. I will say I'm a little bit funky. It's like I'm a lefty, but then my right eye wants to do the work. So your right eye dominates. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm just kind of wacky. Slide release, magazine release, trigger, rear sight, front sight. So for us to be able to accurately engage target, symmetry is super important. I'll be honest, I have no idea what's going on right now. You're gonna push up on this button here. That happens automatically when there's a magazine. Okay, you gotta hold your weapon like that. All right, so um, I said every Okay, everybody lock your slides to the rear. Good, all right, go grab a magazine. This is extremely nerve wracking. Yep. Things are like this. Mm. So, oh, okay, okay. Observe your target, orient, decide, act. I never knew the importance of how specific you need to be when aiming. So Very my is yes. this big, so that's 10 inches. I wish. And this inch is 20 inches. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna miss by the size of my <laughs> Does that sound like a good plan? No. No, bad plan. That is what we're trying to get here. All of this thing has to be processed. Stop. Don't stop moving. Stop smiling, there's no smiling in gunfighting. Yeah, okay, better look. You want me to leave looking forward? No, just look out of the corner of your eyes. Put okay. it down, all right? You're, you're very tense. Loosen up. <sighs> Have you been shot with one of these yet? No. Are you Stay gonna... still. Oh, shit. You know. He said he was aiming for the ass. He got me in the hamstring. I thought I did pretty good, though. Slow down. Speed, surprise, and violence of action. Stay. Yes, sir. Speed, surprise, and violence of action. Next drill right here. Man, I just want to shoot you so bad sometimes. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> Boom! Go! Now when you shoot, three. Go. Cover! Guys before last one. Up! Uh, I'm up! Let's go. That's my best one yet. Man, I was uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised about how Jesse did. You know, he listened to instruction, which which is good. Man, he's got not a hothead. Walk in my house. One, two, three, four. I learned. 
got some energy about him that uh, is, is fun and contagious, you know, but I also want to skull stomp him sometimes. Go! Boys and girls, children of all ages. Up One, high, high. two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. I think this was running for your life. They might have grazed you. <laughs> yeah. And you need to shave your back and get in here. Oh, geez. Well, that was one of my worst ideas yet. And uh, <laughs> these bullet holes in my arms say a lot more than I can. We're refueling right now. We got some good food, some protein in us. I'm not going to lie. I think this is a bougie military meal. That's for sure. It's a good day. Yeah. What happens if you're held captive? What happens if you're duct taped, zip cuffed? Any of those things. During this session, we learn ins and outs of different types of ways to be captured and restrained and how to get out of it. So now it's my turn to get tied up. Let's just say I'd never thought I'd be tied up and restrained by another man. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I'm really hoping that I, uh, that I do this correct. I swear I'm not gonna do anything bad. I'll stay. I'm not gonna lie, this is, you can feel it's tight. You can't take me alive. Ain't a problem, I'm getting out. I'm gonna show you guys a magic trick. A little shimmy there. Okay, it's a lot harder than you think. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right, baby. You can't keep me captive. And we had to keep escaping as the materials were getting progressively harder to break through. Oh, baby. Oh, you can't stop me. As we wrapped up the escape tactics, I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling really good. I feel like I'm becoming more of a man. I'm tough, I can fight, and I can escape basically anything now. Which leads us to the next challenge over at the shoot house. Are you ready? Yes, sir! Not you, you oh. freak. Oh. Here we go! The mission is simple. Make it through the shoot house and eliminate any enemy targets. Die, bitch! And don't get shot. <laughs> shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! There we go. Great fall through. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. All right, wait for me right there at that corner. Let's go to that corner right there. First one, absolutely horrible. Second one, much better. Don't mess with me. I'll be shooting this thing at you, boy. Say this is real life. There, there's someone in, in your home, and you're trying to decide which way to go. What would be your decision making there? So what's my mission? Yeah. I'm probably moving to my kids. So for you, what is the, the thing that is moving you, compelling you to clear this house? Okay. What is it? My girlfriend, I guess, yeah. Okay. Probably if we're in the same, in the same place. That's an important thing. Yeah. Time is how we're mitigating risk. So if I have all the time, I'm gonna take less risk. If I don't have all the time, if I'm moving to her, this guy's trying to assault me, like you're moving, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's what's driving you, and kind of driving what decisions you're gonna make and what direction you're gonna go. You can hear somebody screaming in your principal's house. Do you think Kane's gonna be deliberately clearing and pine one room at a time? Motherfucker is gonna be sprinting from wherever he is to wherever he has to go, and everything between point A and point B is gonna die. That's it. Right, here we go. What? Oh, oh shit. Get some. <laughs> Move! Go! You're an idiot. Go, I love you. I'm an idiot. Go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Die, bitch! The goal of this mission was to clear the shoot house and to find my son that was allegedly held hostage. Where are you, my son? Where are you? Where are you? Oh yeah, we're moving. Oh, I'm sorry. I got him, I got the bad guy. I was running out of time and I was struggling to find my hostage son, so I had to do something quick. Oh, I found him. Let's go. Let's go, my boy. Daddy, daddy. I found you. I love you. I thought I'd never find you. you when I say, where's my son, you gotta respond. That was my best run yet. So, uh, co competition, I think it's, it's where you codify really all the things you've been practicing. Whether you're a grappler or you're a sh shooter, ultimately you have to go and compete to know, hey, are you good? So, every, you know, every time there's somebody young and there's fast, you know, it's, hey, let's do a, let's do a shootout. Let's do a race. Let's do a, you know, who's stronger, who's faster, who's better looking, obviously me. We're down in the shoot house where, uh, I don't tell Jesse that I'm taking a couple other shooters and throwing them inside of the building and he's gonna go and clear it, think he's just fighting one. Instead, it's three. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm born ready. Let you got an extra start. magazine? Not anymore. Here's an extra magazine. Next time I'll carry multiple. Anybody with a gun? This is, this is a bad guy. Oh, any, whoa, wait, wait. All right, you ready, Jesse? Born ready. Oh, yeah. fuck. I was not ready. No! And uh, he's walking down a hallway, and out pops Tim Kennedy's face. Oh, <laughs> oh rain the ass. Oh. Oh my 
my god, my whole body's stinging. <laughs> I'm all right. After losing my manhood in the shoot house, we refueled as it was officially the end of day one. Oh my, the food is immaculate here. We got grilled chicken, steak, penne pasta, and some grilled veggies. Digging in, today's been insane. Got a little uh, scarring going on. Day one in the books. We're gonna get some sleep. I'm exhausted. On to the next. I'll see you guys at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> 6.30 a.m., baby. Morning workout, rise and shine. Hey guys, please subscribe. After a quick warm up, we went on to the O course, and that was no joke. I was going against another cadet until last second. Good luck, sir. He's still, what is he doing? He's doing something. We're all sitting back here talking. We don't know if he's gonna make it. <laughs> they put me against Michael Chandler. My name is Michael Chandler. I fight in the UFC. And I take people's heads off for a living. I was confident until... that fell in front of you? Finish it. Oh, you going up? Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> all right, now listen. I know you're eager, okay? Very. Don't hurt yourself. Sugar, stand by. Go! YouTuber versus professional UFC fighter. Who will win? Drop. Good. Come on, Michael. We're all class athlete going against Are you a pro athlete? Come on, Mike. Seems like Michael was the crowd favorite. Rope. Rope. Rope climb. Rope climb. Get it. Assassin's Creed. Oh, that was so much harder than I thought. What did I? I underestimated that. I'll take the L with pride. Listen, I fell. That is why I lost. All right. Jesus. And because he's a pro athlete, and I'm not. So we're at Operation Black Site, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of business people here, a lot of real serious people. But there was this kid who walked in named Jesse. First thing I saw was a swagger, and I saw him take his shirt off and take pictures with guns in his hands, and I thought that guy. That's the guy. We, we got to take care of this guy. We got to teach him a lesson. Are we ready to make this happen? Yes, sir. That is not the fucking energy we need today. Are we ready to make this happen? Yes, sir. Came in in some very short, very sexy orange shorts, which I love because I'm a short shorts guy. So I started to like him a little bit more. Then he came in. We started moving a little bit. Definitely started a little bit green. <laughs> but started picking it up by the end, and uh, he's actually not bad. Got to try better next time. Watch out. That's a circuit, baby. I just killed those pads. He also knew he was getting a little bit better, and then I had to check him a little bit and almost knocked him out a couple times. So after that training session, we were all instructed to meet back up at the barn for a very important lesson on facing your fears. I know what's coming right now. They have snakes, bro. There is no way I'm touching a snake. I am terrified of snakes. <laughs> oh my god, this is this, this is something new. Oh, buddy boy. Buddy boy. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, I love you. Kiss him on the head. Mm -hmm. Yo, he's resistant. Is that okay? He doesn't like me. Yo, he's getting my leg. I have to conquer my fears by kissing it on the head. I don't know if I could do it, but I cannot back out now. I've come so far. Oh! <laughs> Way scarier than when you touch it. It's not that bad. No, I've been afraid of snakes my whole life. Okay, good. Oh my god. I feel good now. Yesterday I told him my biggest fear of snakes. He's been planning this. This was honestly such a great moment bonding with the guys. We've spent so much time with each other this far. And honestly, it was just a blast. And now it was time for our next combat training session. Fighting is no joke. I clearly am not a fighter. I'm going to do my absolute best here. Perfect. Yeah. What's happening? This is insane. By the end of this session, let's just say these hands should be registered weapons. After torturing myself for 50 hours straight, it was safe to say I have officially become a true man. I'll have to see you soon, okay? You're gonna give me a kiss? Yeah. I survived! I survived, baby! Hopefully my girlfriend's family can now accept me. Stay relentless!